What's going on everybody? Just want to bring you a quick little shorts here on how to navigate your EcoFlow display here. So as you can see, the display is already on. I have mine set to never turn off, but you can within the settings up here in the gear icon, you can actually change um, your screen timeout. So mine is set to never right now. So going back, you'll see we have three panes here. On the left is the system as a whole. The right top is gonna to be your input, which so that's gonna be power coming into the van, whether that's via shore power, solar, alternator, um, additional, um, plugins. And then we have the output, which is the actual energy that is being dispersed by the EcoFlow currently in its moment. So starting here on the left, we'll see that the system right now is at 67%. If we were to continue using the system at its current draw, which is about 77 watts right now, we would be able to use the system for another three days in approximately 14 hours. So it's based, it's it's calculating the fact that we have nothing coming in, we have power going out, and this is how long the system would last. Now there's nothing coming in right now because there's a couple really big trees on the other side of the van and the sun is still pretty low in the horizon. If you click into this a little bit more, you will get a little bit more details here on the two different batteries. This is the 10 kilowatt system, so I have two five kilowatt batteries, the temp temperature of those batteries, and just kind of a different view on the overall power. If you come over here to input, you'll see that we have all the different sources. So we have the alternator, solar, AC charging, AC input, and also another solar. Um, so alternator is gonna be charging the van or charging the EcoFlow when the van is on. Solar is obviously solar, and AC charging would be if we're plugged into shore power. From within here too, you have other different settings you can change, like if you want uh, charging to happen while the vehicles are uh, in idle. I currently have that turned off. And if you come over here to your output, you'll see that we have both our AC and our DC. Actually, we're currently set on DC right now. So on the DC, you have 12 DC ports, six of which you can turn on and off directly from the EcoFlow, and six more that are constantly always hot. You can label these and put little icons. So you can see here we have upper cabinet, front ceiling, capsules, rear ceiling, heater, fan, and then the fridge is on a dedicated circuit. And you could turn those on and off as well. Same thing over here for AC. So we got the driver rear plug. This is a plug that we have in the back of the van. We have one in the galley and we have one here on the passenger side. Up here in the settings is where you can connect to the wireless network, which is great because if your van is either connected to your Starlink or at home, you can access all the vans, uh, all, all the EcoFlow's settings from within uh, the mobile app itself, along with a handful of other very simple, um, understandable you know, units of measurement, timeout, um, debugging, and also where you can do firmware updates. So, hope you found this helpful. Any questions, drop them down below, and have a great day.